Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Daily Twin Flame check-in for Friday. Now, very powerful messages coming through today in both feminine and masculine readings. And if you are having any physical symptoms such as dizziness, nausea, feeling a bit woozy, or if you've been having any pain in the eyes or heavy energy or neck issues, make sure you check out the masculine reading because I talk about all of that there. So we're going to use the structure deck to find out what we need to know today. So thank you, angels. What's the question? What's the question? So the first question is, what are they wanting to express? All the signs. Wow. Do you know, I'm really excited this has come up because I was actually thinking about doing this anyway as we get ready for a new month. And, you know, with the energy we've just had of Valentine's Day. So what are they wanting to express for all the signs? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with the horoscopes of all of the Divine Masculines. So, you know, whatever your masculine sign is, let me just see if I can find my little cards with the horoscopes on. What have I done with them? Here they are. Yeah, got them. So, whatever sign your masculine is, I'm going to do you a channeled message. And I'm going to use, hmm, what card shall I use? I'm going to use the Dark Truths, which is a really powerful deck, if I can find that one. And I'm going to use the secrets of the soul, okay? The secrets of the soul. So I'm going to bring in the divine masculine dark truths and the secrets of the soul to give you a message about what they want to express. So this could really be a part one of today's DM to the F reading. And they're giving me fear, thank you. So, you know, if there's fear stopping them from communicating or if you're in fear right now because of the connection, this is going to help because they're going to get something out to you today. Something they really want you to know. I am also going to bring in, I think, the silence as well. And the 101. So let's go a little bit deeper into this then. Let's bring in three decks. So, And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle all the cards first. And then I'm going to do the reading. So I'll timestamp everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards. Because it's just more interesting for me. So what do they want to express? So this is the order we're going to be doing them in. We're going to do Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini. And remember, this is the masculine. So if your masculine is a Gemini, that's the reading you watch. Okay, if your masculine is a Taurus, that's the reading you watch. If you're not sure what sign they are, you can watch your sign and take the way it comes through. Okay, so we're doing Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Libra. Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn. So that's the order we're doing them in. So all the signs, what they want to express. So I'm going to shuffle with each deck. So thank you, angels. What do the Aquarius masculines want to, want to say? What do the Virgo masculines want to say? What do the Gemini masculines want to say? Wow, Gemini masculines have got something to say. Taurus masculines, what do they want to say? Pisces, thank you. Libra, Libra masculines, what do Libra masculines want to say? Leo masculines, what do they want to say? Cancer masculines, what do the Cancer masculines want to say? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, thank you. Aries, Aries. Thank you. Scorpio and Capricorn. Wow. Okay. So let me just pop these underneath. You probably think this is a bit of a long windy way of doing this, but this is what they're guiding me to do. Okay. And you know, you can ignore all of this and just jump straight to the sign, which will be time stamped in the description box below. But I like to do it on camera so you can see how I do it. It may be interesting if you are learning how to do cards or if you want to feel their energy when you, you know, you're doing this as well. Because I am connecting with you right now. So masculine secrets of the soul. What do the Aquarius straight out? Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Virgo. Gemini. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take them. Gemini masculines have got a lot to say. That's what's coming through. Taurus. 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 Thank you. P 
Pisces, 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 Libra, wow, jumping out, amazing, this is going to be exciting, I can feel it already, Leo, Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Scorpio, thank you, thank you, jumping out there, and Capricorn, straight out, okay, so again, I'm going to put these behind, now I've got two more decks to use, so a lot of, a lot of messages coming out here for Gemini masculine, so I feel that the Gemini masculines, the, the, there's things going on there, okay, or, you know, if you're not sure if you're a Gemini and you want to just see what's going on there, you maybe you're resonating with something you're going through in your own situation. So I suppose you can watch this for your own sign as well and take the bits that resonate with you. And then we're going to do the Divine Mask and the Silence. So Aquarius, straight up. Aquarius coming out very quick here. Virgo. Virgo. And Gemini. Gemini, Taurus, Taurus, I'm sure that shuffling will actually take longer than actually doing each reading themselves, there'll be probably very quick readings with quick messages for exactly what you need to hear, Pisces, Pisces, there it is, Libra, Libra, Leo, Cancer, 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 Masculines, Cancer, Masculines, Sagittarius, wow, jumping straight out there, Aries, Aries, Masculines, Aries, and Scorpio, couple there for Scorpio coming out, there's another one on top moving as well, Capricorn, Capricorn, wow, and then we're going to do the 101, Okay, so again, I'm going to put these. So I feel Aquarius, quick messages, straight to the point. I feel Gemini, there's something going on with Gemini masculines. I just feel that, you know, because the amount of cards that are coming out and the fact that there's a lot of heavy energy around Gemini. You know, again, I feel, you know, Sagittarius, Aries, quick cards, power. Let's see what's going on. Wow. Let's see what's going on. I don't know if I should use anything else. I'm just seeing if they guide me to anything else as well. Aquarius. Straight out for Aquarius. Aquarius, straight. Very fast. See what I mean? Virgo. Virgo is getting fast as well, though. Gemini. Straight out for Gemini. Again, a lot to say, Gemini masculines, right now. Let me just pop these behind here as I go. Wow, eight minutes already shuffling, but... This is the way I do it. That's the way I do it. Taurus. Pisces. Pisces. Libra. Libra. A few cards coming out there for Libra. Leo. Leo energy. Leo masculines, please. Thank you. Cancer. Cancer masculines. Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, yeah, there's definitely a lot of deep thinking going on because I'm really connecting now with the masculine's vibration and they are deep in thought, they're thinking about you today, they are thinking about you very deeply today Divine Feminine, so Wow, you know, maybe you're a masculine watching this and you're wondering what your feminine is thinking. So, you know, it's what do they want to express? So this isn't just about the divine masculine. Remember, you know, you can put this into your own situation and that's what they want you to know. Okay, so they're ready. They're ready, right. Let's do this then. Okay, so all the signs, what are they wanting to express? So we're going to start with Aquarius. Aquarius masculines or your Aquarius twin is saying to you, I'm learning who I am. 
I feel like there is a reason we've been brought together, like we have a mission together and I want to be a part of that so I'm learning my lessons. Now, when I'm connecting with this particular person, I'm getting a little bit of neck pain which, and it's more like, you know, when your veins ache, it's like the flow. So they, they need to flow more in their life and make changes. And because these cards jumped out very, very quickly, I feel that once he makes a decision, it's going to happen very quickly. So he's saying, I know there's a reason we've been brought together. We have a mission together and I want to be a part of that. So big sign about mission. So you may even be seeing the white stag. The weight of us is on my mind and I'm struggling to sleep. And I feel this is maybe giving him neck pain. So maybe waking up in the morning with neck pain or he slept weird. You know, and you slept funny and you're hurting, you're aching. But he's saying I'm struggling to sleep because I'm thinking about us constantly. And I want a new life with you. And that's what I'm thinking about. So he wants a new life. He wants to do it a new way. You are the only one I want. The only one. So if there's anyone else involved, they don't even come close to what they feel for you. And I want to meet you in person. So if these are the things that you've been thinking about, is he going to meet me in person? Am I the only one? He's saying, yeah, you're the only one. And I want to meet you in person. And I want a new life with you. And that's what I'm thinking about. Isn't that powerful? Wow. Okay, let me just pop these back then. Next sign is Virgo, welcome. So the Virgo, what does your Virgo want to say to you? Your Virgo is saying, I watch you. I'm your secret admirer. I watch your social media. I search for you online and I sometimes try and be where you are. So he's got his eye on you here. He's watching you and he's saying, I want to prove to you that you can trust me. So he definitely wants to do something about this to prove to you it's real. And when I'm quiet, I'm always thinking of you. So you're constantly on this person's mind and I'm connecting with my true self. So there could be some silence going on. And he's saying, even when I'm silent or quiet or distant, that's when I'm thinking of you and that's when I'm connecting with my true self. And remember, the true self is you because you're part of each other. And he's saying, I realise that I want to prove to you I can trust, that you can trust me. So I'm watching and waiting for the right time. You turn me on so much and I get so mad at myself about how I treat you. So he's saying I get mad when I think about the past and the way things have happened. And I want to make it right and prove to you that you can trust me. Isn't that powerful? Wow. Amazing. I hope that helps. Okay. Gemini. Now, Gemini, when I was shuffling these lots of cards come out and I really feel this heavy energy around your twin. There may be a lot that needs to be released so he can be free to be with you. You know, there's a lot going on. So your Gemini has things to say. I'm planning. I want us to get together in person. I'm just afraid of messing it up with my stupid behaviour. So he may have act stupid before and he doesn't want to again. So he's dealing with this. And he's saying, wow, in those clothes, looking like that, wearing that smile, wow. So he's been watching you in some way. Whether he's seen you out and about or he's seen you online or he's just connecting you with it in his mind. He's saying, wow, looking like you do, how could I not love you and want you? And I'm planning. I fantasize about showing you off to my family and friends. I want everyone to see us together and how happy we are. I'm so proud of you. So he said, I'm proud of you and everything that you are and everything that you stand for. And I want to show you off in my world. And you were the one. And you were the only one. And that's why I'm saying it twice. So you believe it and believe in me. So he is saying you're the one for him. And he's saying my thoughts of you get me through the day. So he may struggle throughout the day. And you help him to get through it. And he's saying during the quiet times I'm teaching you to trust me. And to believe in our love. And that's because as a divine feminine we have to step back. And allow the masculines to step forward. I do intend to reach out. So he is going to reach out. So trust that. That's been on your mind. Like the sun, you are my true happiness. And the only light that warms me in my currently dark world. So this is a sign for you, Divine Feminine, to shine your light bright. Be the lighthouse, but be like the sun, because that's what he's moving towards. And he's saying, you are my everything and so much more. This is why so much came up here. I hurt and panic. 
when I think of you with someone else. So he does not want you moving on or being with anyone else. And he's saying, I have been driving past your house. So what I'm feeling is, you know, if you live close by, he's either been driving past your house or you may have encountered each other on a walk or there's some way that you may have come together and seen each other. And he's like, wow, in those clothes looking like that, wow. If you don't live near each other, he may have been checking you out on social media or in his mind, okay? So take that out, it resonates with you. I need you to forgive me. So he definitely does feel guilty about a lot of things he's done. And he's saying always and forever, eternally together. So he knows inside that you have that bond that can't be broken. It's always and forever. And my heart beats for your heart, listen to the beat. So I feel this could be about the heart activation. There could be heart healing occurring right now. So I feel the heart speeding up, palpitations, missing a beat, you know, anxiety. And he's saying, I'm asking for help. So he's calling on his angels and his guides. And he's saying to you, I will see you again. So don't doubt that or be in fear over that. I am processing. So that's what he's doing in the silence or the quiet times. He's working it all out. And he's saying, right now I'm meeting you in my dreams. So you may not be communicating physically right now or in the way you want to, but he is meeting you in dreams and showing you his truth. And we've got you are the strongest person I have ever known. So he sees you as the queen of swords, someone very resilient, strong, powerful, in tune with their true self. And he's saying, let's live together. So in the future, you will spend time in the same home. Okay, you're going to live together, but you're also going to be living life together, enjoying life, having adventures. And he's saying, I want you to forgive me and I want you to trust me again. And you do matter to me. So that's why all these cards came up, because he's very clearly letting you know that he does care about you. He does love you, that you do matter and that you are on his mind. So you're being asked to trust in that today. What a beautiful message. I hope that helps. Wow. Taurus, welcome. So this is the Taurus Divine Masculine, or I do feel there may be a Taurus watching as well. So your masculine is saying to you, or your person is saying to you, please forgive me. It makes me feel physically sick when I think about how much pain and suffering I have caused you. I'm sorry for treating you that way. It was wrong and you didn't deserve that. Please forgive me. So your person is apologizing for what happened between you. And he was saying, I'm sorry I did that. I was in denial. I'm sorry I hid my real feelings from you. I have always been in love with you and I'm a coward for not admitting that to you sooner. I'm gaining the courage to tell you face to face. So he wants to tell you, not just in a message or online, he wants to tell you face to face, he loves you and how he feels, how he really feels. He's saying to you, I feel physically unwell. So this has come up again. It makes me feel physically sick and I feel physically unwell when I put myself through the pain of thinking that you could be with someone else. So I feel he's going through physical ascension right now. Physical symptoms that make him feel sick. And this will resonate with the reading I've done today about the wooziness, the dizziness, the nausea. So do make sure you check that out too. And it's all connected with the fact that he was in denial or he's hurt you in some way and he wants to make up for it. And he's saying, everything is triggering me. Everything. So he's triggering to heal. When we get triggered by something, we have to heal what's triggering us. And I'm healing my addiction so I can feel free. So he may have addictions. This could be things like alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, vaping. This could be other things like a codependent relationship or things he needs to let go of. And he's saying, I hear your heart calling to me and my heart calls to you too. So you're definitely communicating through telepathy and the 5D realm. I hope that helps well. Welcome. So if your twin is a Pisces, this message is for you. I'm still healing. So your twin is saying, I'm getting there, but I'm still healing. When I pull away from you, I'm afraid of being hurt. It's nothing you are doing wrong. Please don't take it personally. You are doing everything right. So you've been asked to trust that. He's saying, I'm horny. When I'm with you, I can't think straight. I act weird and crazy because I want you so badly. You were just so gorgeous to me. So if he's been acting a bit crazy or weird, it's actually because of the desire 
the reality inside. And he's saying, I do with you. I do with you. So this is about marriage, commitment, everything you want, he wants. And he's saying to you, the differences between us scare me, but excite me too. I'm accepting that. So you could have differences. There could be an age gap. There could be a religious divide. There could be a country divide. There could be colour divide. Whatever it is, he's saying we have differences. And this could even be that you, you like different things or, you know, you do different things. But he's saying whatever the differences are, they scare me but excite me too. So that's not the reason he's running. If you're thinking, oh, has he run away because of the age gap or something else? That's not why. He's saying whatever it is, he's accepting it. And he's tired of being alone. I'm tired of feeling alone. So he feels alone. Even if he's in a karmic relationship or there's other people around him, he feels very alone. He doesn't feel like he's heard or seen or understood the right way. And it's making him tired. And he's saying, I'm tired of being alone. I'm writing a message I want to send you. So this is a, what I spoke about the other day where they may have a message sitting in their draft messages and he wants to write the message out to you. So he's saying, right now I am preparing a message I want to send to you and let's start a family together. So you're definitely going to have some form of family life together, which could be having children of your own. It could be about bringing his family or your kids together. It's about creating a life. And he's saying, I have a file in my head and it's all about you. It's all about you. So he can't forget you, Divine Feminine. And he loves you. So trust in that love. But a message is coming soon. I hope that helps well. Libra. So if your twin is a Libra, these messages are for you. I'm thinking. I've been hearing songs and music that remind me of you. And it makes me want to reach out to you even more. So he's definitely in the process of wanting to contact you. And he's hearing songs and, you know, there's music popping on the radio or he's hearing certain lyrics that remind him of you. This could even be a song that's very connected with you. I'm understanding. I'm facing my truths and going within to become a better person. I know I have a purpose here and I want to be able to work on that. So he's saying we have a purpose, a mission here. And I want to work on that, so I'm going with him to do all the work. And, you know, if he is silent or distant right now, he is listening to lots of music and sending you signs and synchronicities through music and song. And then there was you. I love this card. And then there was you. It's like he was living his life and then you came and everything changed. His world turned upside down and then there was you. Nothing will ever be the same. I feel what you feel everywhere that you feel it, winky face. So this is definitely about the sexual energy, the way you feel each other, the heat between you, the kundalini rising. I feel it where you feel it. And he's saying, I'm frustrated about my life. Now, when the masculines are frustrated, they can also get very horny. They can also get angry, but they're like this volcano that's ready to explode. So he's saying, there's so much I want to do. And I'm frustrated because I haven't yet achieved things I want to achieve or shown you the love or any of these things. So trust him. He said, I think about telling you how I feel. And I feel that's all the time he wants to open up. Being with you is the best part of my day. Whether that's in the physical world, whether he's dreaming about you or he's connecting with you in some way. And he's saying, please forgive me for ignoring you. So I feel he's not ignoring you, he's healing and he's dealing. And he's saying, I think about making love to you. So there's definitely a lot of chemistry between you. And do I really make you happy? So the thing that's holding him back is his own fear around if he actually makes you happy. And I feel this is also him wanting to satisfy you and pleasure you in many ways. Very powerful. And if you watch the last 18 plus reading I did, that will resonate with you. Hope that helps, okay? Welcome. So if your twin is a Leo, these messages are for you. I'm anxious. I struggle with pressure. So we may be feeling very pressured right now to make changes, to move forward, to do it his way. And he's saying, I struggle with pressure. I work at home with you. I struggle because it makes me feel rushed to do things I'm not quite ready to do. And that's something I have to heal. So he's saying, I'm not quite ready, but I want to be. Please don't pressure me in any way or Make me do things your way when I have to do it my way. I'm afraid. So he's in fear. 
And, you know, if the masculine has blocked you, if he's blocked you on social media or he's blocked you out in any way or he's pushed you away, it's because of the pressure. And that's not coming from you, it's coming from him. And they're giving me a headache as I'm, as I'm connecting with this. Head pressure, tension. He's saying, I'm afraid I walked away, but I intend to come back. My concern is, will you be there when I do? I was running for myself. So I feel there could be a block here. Okay, he could have blocked you in some way or pushed you away. And he's saying, I know what I want to say to you, but the words don't come out right. So he definitely wants to communicate and clear the air and, you know, sort things out. But he's trying to find the words. And he's saying, it destroys me that I've destroyed our love. So he really does feel bad about the way it's happened. And he feels he's the one that's destroyed it and messed things up. And he's saying, I'm scared of being me. So it's all because of his own insecurity about being himself. And he needs to balance that energy and be vulnerable with you and open up and show you who he really is. And that's what he's afraid of. Will you accept me? So breathe, have patience and trust. I hope that helps. Well, cancer. So if your twin is a cancer, these messages are for you. She knows. Now, if there's a karmic situation, she knows. She knows about us. How can she not? You are the one that I want. I'm being careful. I have to do this the right way. So if your twin is married or in a relationship, this person knows about you. May not know of you, what name you are or where you live, but knows that there's someone else. Now, if there isn't a karmic situation, this could be someone else, okay? This could be a family member like a mother, a sister, a friend, someone at work, okay? He's saying she knows. And this may even be about you, that you know about what this love is. So take this card how it resonates with you and leave it if it doesn't resonate with you, okay? He's saying to you, you always turn me on. So he's saying no matter what, you always turn me on. I'm always attracted to you. And I'm learning from the situation that I am in. So whatever he's going through, he is learning from that. And when we know that, it's easier for us to handle. I want to fix it. And I do feel that, you know, he wants to make it right. I want to fix it. And you inspire me, the block in my throat. <clears> there <throat> could be a block here in communication. You inspire me to follow my dreams. So he's saying, I want to fix it with you because you inspire me to follow my dreams and become a better person and do things my way. And how could I lie to you? I'm so sorry. So if there's been any lies, he's apologizing for those things and he wants to fix it. I hope that helps again. Okay, but I feel this is just a matter of time for karmic endings. Welcome. If your twin is a Sagittarius, this reading is for you. So your twin is saying, I'm learning. I've grown up since our last encounter. So I feel there may even be an age gap here where your twin may be younger than you or, you know, more spiritually immature. And he's saying, I've grown up a lot since our last encounter, whether that's physically or spiritually. I have been working on myself and I'm becoming someone you can be proud of. Isn't that beautiful? So your twin wants you to be proud of him or her. And I'm sorry. I miss you. So your twin is missing you right now and sorry about the way things happen and is saying I was very naive and immature and I've grown up a lot. I miss you and I hope you can forgive me for all the things I've done. I know that I've hurt you very badly with my words and actions and I'm truly very sorry. It was all because of my own insecurity and fear. So your twin knows where he's messed up and it's because of his own insecurity and he's doing something about it. And he's saying, everything is a dress rehearsal before you. You are the main event. So he's saying, everything I've done, everyone I've been around, whatever's happened, it's all been a dress rehearsal before you. You were everything I want. You were the main event. And he's saying, I need to be ready financially. So he may be working on finances right now, sorting out debt or getting himself in a better financial position. And I'm focused on work. So definitely he's working hard on himself and in his job to be financially ready for you. So he can be with you equally. And he's saying, you are so right for me. So if he said to you in the past, oh, you're not right for me. Or he's saying, you are so right. So right for me. That means he knows you're the one. And he's saying, I think about your body. So he may even have denied the way he's attracted to you in the past. And he's saying, look, I think about your body all the time. I want you. 
I hope that helps. Okay, so he's manning up for you or womaning up. Aries. So if your twin is an Aries, this reading is for you. So your twin is saying, let me message you. If I don't reply, I'm planning what to say. I get stressed when you message me again asking what's wrong because nothing was wrong. But now it is because I feel paranoid I've done something wrong. Don't rush me. Now, Aries, my twins and Aries, okay, and they don't like being rushed. They do like doing it their own way. So let him make the move. And he's saying, I want to feel safe in your arms. So with you, he feels safe. He feels safe cuddling you and holding you and being with you. But let him make the move. My circumstances may change, but my feelings for you never will. So he's saying, wherever I go, whatever I do, any changes I make in my life, my feelings for you will never change. And I've met you on the astral realm. So you've got a very powerful cosmic 5D bond here. He's saying, I have met you in dreams and I have come to you in other ways and I feel your love. And can't you see what you mean to me? So he may not say it, or he may not show it as much as he wants to, but he definitely feels it. And he's saying, wow, can't you see what you mean to me? And he's saying, marriage sounds good with you. So I feel he may actually have marriage or commitment issues. He may struggle around the concept of marriage or he may have already been in a marriage. And he's saying, I may not like it, but it does sound good with you. And they give me fear. So I feel he's releasing fears around marriage and He's saying, everything you want, I want too. So he's saying, don't think that I don't want to be married to you or I don't want what you want. I do. And they give me the words, I do. So I feel definitely marriage in your future. I hope that helps. Wow. Scorpio. So if your twin is a Scorpio, this reading is for you. So he's saying to you, I feel like a failure. Am I good enough for you? So he's definitely working through insecurities right now about being good enough for you. And that's self-worth issues connected with the self. You hold the secrets of my soul. So he knows that you are one. And he's saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. I was afraid to be. I wanted to be. I was afraid to be because I was afraid of letting it out. And that's because he's afraid of failing you. He's afraid of not being good enough for you. And he's saying, I'm changing. So he's changing this behavior. I don't want to be with anyone else. So I'm releasing myself from my karmic ties. So he's dealing with whatever's been holding him back from being with you and he's apologizing to you. So he's saying to you, I am thinking of the children. So if there's kids involved, that's what he's thinking of. If he's got children, if there is no children, he may be thinking about having children or how children would be like with you or your children. I didn't mean to block you and now I don't know how to undo it all, but I'm working it out. So you know, if he has blocked you in any way, you know, this could be a block on social media. It could be just pushing you away or blocking you out. He's saying, I'm working it out, how to open up to you and let me sort things out and I will be back. So he may be sorting things out to do with his karmic relationship or his children or other things. And he's saying, I will be back. So if he has blocked you, don't worry, he will return. And I am healing my wounds. So he's definitely doing his work. And he's saying, I see you on the big screen. So if he sees a film or he watches a show or something pops up on social media, like on YouTube, he sees you there. And he's saying, we are always and forever. So he's recognizing that you are one. And he's saying, I care what you think. So he does care about what you think. And he's saying, I want to introduce you to my family as my one. So trust that there is a future for you. He is returning to you. Just give it time. I hope that helps, okay? Capricorn. So if your twin is a Capricorn, this is for you. So he's saying to you, I feel you. I've been feeling you close to me, especially at night. Can you feel me the way I'm feeling you? Isn't that beautiful? So he's feeling you, especially at night, feeling the way you feel, feeling your emotions, feeling the power of the love, the heat between you. I'm dreaming. So he's saying at night, I feel you. And then I go into a dream about you. I dream about you holding me close. It feels safe and warm in your arms and I never want this dream to end. This needs to be my reality. So he wants to make it reality where he feels you in his arms, where he connects with you in that way. And he's saying, because I felt you moving on. So he may be dreaming about you right now because he's felt you moving on. And that doesn't mean moving on with another person. 
It means you have been working on you and surrendering and giving it to heaven. And he's felt that. So he feels you more right now because he feels that you've let go. And that's a good thing because it means you're not obsessing or struggling. He's saying, I will contact you when I'm ready. So he is going to move forward. So if you're thinking, well, I've surrendered, give this to God. He is going to contact you. And he's saying, I am processing my feelings. So maybe you're thinking, does he even care? Is he bothered? He does. He is. He's saying, I am processing my feelings. And I'm so sorry I did that to you. It just gets a bit much. So he's trying to help you understand why he does the things he does. Maybe not replying or blocking you or behaving a bit crazy or weird. He's saying it just gets a bit much. And I'm sorry I did that to you. So very powerful message coming through from the masculines. I hope that helps. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.